My name is Matt, I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, I got about 20 months sobriety. Uh, drug of choice was pretty much jack and crack. Um, life's different now, how my life used to be. It was really unmanageable. Um, I lied, cheated, steal, did anything I could to obtain my drugs. Um, pretty much go to work and pretty much after work get high and get drunk. Um, it got to the point that the woman I was with, who's soon to be my wife, came, raised my bottom and says, if you don't get help, you're going to be basically be out of the house. All your stuff's going to go in a landfill, whatever, whatever stuff I did have left. Um, I didn't know how to really live. That's what I thought for a lot of years because that's all I did. That was the right way to live. Um, the only time I ever had any conscious contact with God was in foxhole prayers when I just wanted to, to stop or to either stop doing drugs or just to let me go to sleep because I'm so high because I have to work the next morning. Um, I'm glad that I got to Palm Partners for the fact is that um, I had to finally surrender. And I had to surrender because my life was just so unmanageable and things were so terrible. You know, you hear a lot about the, you know, in the program about being emotionally, spiritually, and financially bankrupt. That's exactly where I was. Um, but yet, it still didn't matter. I still kept going as long as I could find a way to get drugs and alcohol. Um, walking in the door, I was definitely, I was at the point that now's the time I have to surrender. Um, I need some tools or something to know how to get out and function in life. And they were definitely able to give me that, and I'm so grateful for them. Um, I, you know, becoming more spiritually fit, um, going to meetings, which some people don't want to do that, but if you really keep an open mind and want to stay sober, for me, I had to go. I did over 90 meetings in 90 days. I took the tools they gave me. I got a sponsor. I have worked the steps in the first year of sobriety. Um, I did everything I was told at Palm Partners to do, and I did it outside when I got transitioned to the real world, um, and, it's, and, it, and it works for me. I still continue to go to meetings. I got about 20, like I said before, about 20 months sober. Not every day is great. Life does happen, um, but I'm grateful to know I can always pick up the phone and call somebody in the program even if there's no meeting available to me and I don't have to pick up anymore. And I never thought that would ever happen. And without the base foundation that Palm Partners really gave me, there wouldn't be a chance in hell. I'd probably either be in jail or be dead, and I'd probably take the latter and be dead. So I want to thank everybody here again and give me the opportunity. After 20 months, I flew down here from Wisconsin. I got to speak to the commencing uh, clients that are here today. And I hope that someone got something out of it and sound like it. a couple thanked me and I'm glad that they did because maybe they did get something out of it and they can continue to have a life of sobriety because it's so much better than what it used to be. And I never thought it would be feasible. I mean, I'm talking 20 years of steady drug and alcohol abuse. And I lost a lot, but now I got a lot more to gain and I can get back what I did lose. So thanks to God and he works in mysterious ways and I'm just grateful that uh, I'm here today. I still use the tools and still remember a lot of things like Doug McGurk has said in the past. Um, he's mentioned a lot, he's mentioned stuff that, you know, he, he by mention, by talking and kind of, he got into my inner soul and my inner being spiritually, and Heidi did as well. You know, Wasashi was here as my therapist. I mean, everybody truly cared, and that's the nice thing about this place is that people actually honestly care. It's not just a job to them. They actually care about every individual as an individual and separately. And to me, that's really, it's huge because I knew I wasn't alone as far as my addiction goes because I knew there's a lot of people in here when I was in here, but I was just grateful for the fact that everyone took the time to help me through some of the struggles that I had in life that I thought were so big I couldn't handle, but in reality today being sober, they're real small in comparison. So, If you're struggling with addiction by any means, or if you're sick and tired, like they say, sick and tired of being sick and tired, um, I know you can't do it alone, I know you can't white knuckle it, I've tried that, it does not work. Um, pick up the phone and call. You got nothing to lose by any means. You're already losing as it is by being out there. Believe me, and I've lost enough and everyone out there that's in the same situation I used to be in, <clears throat> you know, you, you gotta make the call because it's simply the fact that um, they truly care, you know, it's, it's about, you know, taking care of the person who's the addict and getting the help that they need and the tools they need for recovery when you go back out and transition into life. You, you know, there's, that's just, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. I mean, make the call, keep an open mind, you know, be honest with yourself that you probably are an addict or alcoholic or if you're even looking at this video right now, make the call and get out there, get down there. If you or someone you know is struggling, call 888-508-7072 now. That's 888 508 7072